All right, thanks, Adam, very much. It is a big day for all the boys on the show. Yes. While Stephanie sits over there and pines about the fact that there will be glittering vampires later this summer. <laughs> it's Avengers Day, Sean McBride. Actually, the glittering vampires aren't till the fall, but... Uh, who cares? Who cares? It's Avengers. And more so, it is the first day of the summer movie season. It's interesting. It used to be Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. Hollywood would all, never, never, you know, launch something big before then. And about five years ago, they started sneaking stuff a little earlier and a little earlier. I'm surprised they don't just go all the time now. So. We, we have had this run of comic books and graphic novels. And mm -hmm. this one, I think, is kind of, I mean, the Dark Knight series maybe, but this one's kind of the apex. Everybody's like, wow, we're going to bring all these movies together. This is been a project in the works for a while. Yeah, and Marvel was very smart. You know, they knew that their Avengers franchise, I mean, while it was much beloved, it wasn't on the same level as Spider-Man or Batman. Mm -hmm. So they put out those individual one-off movies. We've had two Iron Mans, we've had a Thor, we've had a Captain America. Arguably, we've also had two Hulks, um, although a lot of people <laughs> pretend that the Hulk movies never really happened. Yeah. So. And then now they all come together. And you know, you, you always saw Samuel L. Jackson, usually in the credit sequence, seeding the pot for this movie. There was always those little hints to the Uber fans, you know, a shield here or a guy getting a mug shot taken yeah. there. Yeah. And so now it all comes together. The question is, does it all come together? <laughs> yeah, it does. And it's a, I was surprised at how well it comes together. This is Joss Whedon, who is the director. You know him from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel. And then Cabin in the Woods, a film that I, that I, that I love, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. and, and I think he is the difference. Don't take me wrong. The actors are wonderful as well. But Whedon is obviously a fan. Obviously love these, loves these characters, and you just feel it. He gives the movie just a little bit of camp, because let's face it, they're superheroes. Mm -hmm. But he also is respectful of them, and he pulls them together. All of these stories, all of these superheroes, you know, I mean, it could have become this incredibly bloated thing. Mm -hmm. it, it takes about two hours, and I think it's 2.22 is the official running town. So, so it is a little longer, but it doesn't feel long. And it's got some great action, a lot of wit, very funny film. Uh, I just, I was thrilled by it. Is it going to be one of those ones where you can take the little ones that probably have never read one of these comic books to? Yeah, no, it, it helps if you've seen the other movies because, for example, this really is sort of a sequel to Last Summer's Thor. Mm -hmm. And so it will help if you know who some of these characters are. But no, you, you can certainly take your young ones to this one. They'll catch on. It's, look, pretty pictures, things go bang and boom and Hulk smash and whatnot. It's, uh, it's just, it, it works very well. Mmm, Hulk smash. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. You remember, you can reach Sean every week in the Idaho Press Tribune and, of course, catch him on our website, kboi2.com. Mm -hmm.